In tonight's Basin Business Report, we're learning about what a strong fiscal year the Tall City economy has been having. The city says this fiscal year, sales tax collection is on track to beat the budget by more than $2.1 million. And ABC Big Two's Mike Mahoney paid a visit to the Midland Chamber of Commerce to learn what's driving the economic success here in the Tall City. He joins us live in studio. Hey, Mike. Well, hey there, Chris. Hey there, Maddie. And that is right. Things are looking pretty good in the Tall City from an economic perspective. And that's because Midland is on track to end the fiscal year with its second largest sales tax collection on record. Now, there is a month to go in the fiscal year, but optimism is high at the Midland Chamber of Commerce that this trend of people purchasing things in Midland will continue next month and into next fiscal year. The city says that they've already collected almost $62 million in sales tax this fiscal year. Year. And while there has been some fluctuation compared to last year with our oil and gas industry, city officials say that retail, hotel, food service, and construction saw increases in sales tax contributions. So I asked the president of the Midland Chamber, what's behind that? We have stability uh, in the oil and gas market right now. That's evidenced by what came out from the city. That really provides an opportunity for um, small and mid-sized businesses to either uh, establish roots if they're not here, but also grow and expand their services because um, it, it, it provides that stable ground to do so. And the president of the Midland Chamber also says that the Tall City benefits from a young population with a median age of 31 who are blessed with disposable time and income. Of course, it is always fun to talk about good economic news when you are the head of a chamber of commerce. And the president and CEO of Midlands Chamber has more to say about the current strength of the tall city economy. And you can catch more of our conversation tonight on your ABC Big 2 News at 10. Until then, live in studio, Mike Mahoney, ABC Big 2 News. All right, Mike, great report, sir. Thank you. And you can catch a new Basin Business Report right here on ABC Big 2 News every Thursday at 6 p.m.